The ability to pose in sculpt mode is particularly relevant but not limited to character sculpting. If we look in this scene as an example, most sculptures start with a piece of concept art that we're trying to directly recreate in 3D or a collection of reference images for inspiration. As with this concept art, we have Melvin in an interesting jumping pose. However, when I sculpt this character, initially I wanna keep it in a neutral pose as you see here, because we can take advantage of symmetrical sculpting. Then once I get it to a finished neutral state, we can pose it for final presentation. So that's what we're gonna do in this video as a demonstration. We're going to pose just the arms so they're similar to what we see in the artwork. And the takeaway from this is, so you can see how masking and posing works in conjunction. Let's start with Melvin's left arm. And we need to first create a mask so that all of our transformations are isolated to just the arm. Now we can try the Shift A Grow by Topology selection, and that gets pretty close, but we're still missing some of the thumb. I actually prefer to use Shift Control, click and drag out a lasso selection. What's nice about lasso is you can see there's a straight line that connects the loop and you can use that to your advantage. So once we have the initial mask selected, I'm gonna hit the A hotkey to bring up our mask pie menu and straight down we have smooth mask. I'm gonna click that once and then shift R to repeat that operation till I have the desired smoothness and fall off in the mask border. Next, control I to invert the selection. And first, let's try the pose brush which you'll remember has a line drawn out of it that determines a point of rotation. So from here, we're posing basically just the hand, but it's determined by the radius of the brush. So if I hit F and drag out the radius to be much bigger to match the length of the arm, you'll see we run into a bit of a limitation. For some reason in this situation, that line, which is drawn automatically, wants to connect to the stomach. So when we rotate around, it's not the desired pivot. However, if we instead shrink our radius and just focus on the thumb, it actually works quite well for the thumb. And this makes sense as a means to fold the thumb into more of a fist, as we see in the artwork. And then if I come back with the inflate brush, now we've bent the thumb in. And so my guess is that the arm angled downward is a little too close to the body. So the pose brush wants to draw that line in the wrong place. Whereas if my arm was more straight out like this, it would probably work because that's how my thumb was laid out. But that's okay that we can't use the pose brush here. Instead, we have the transform tool. So I'm gonna click on transform, which has our rotation, move, and scale options. But I need the pivot to be in the middle of the arm where the mask border is. So in the sculpt menu, we can go to set pivot, pivot to mask border, and then we can rotate this up, move it as we need. There we go, that's pretty close, at least in terms of a general direction and initial direction. Now something you'll notice as you use this tool is um, if you saw me rotate and then click in the middle, the rotation is negated for some reason. So if I make a big um, rotation and then move, you'll see that it snaps a little bit, snaps back. And um, I'm not sure why it does that, but just be aware, it does make the tool difficult to be precise, but I prefer to perfect the pose with uh, traditional sculpting brushes anyway. So really I'm just trying to ballpark the pose at this stage. So we've got the arm moved um, in an upward angle. Now let's draw another mask, Alt-M. Or before I do that, we can try the A menu and choose Grow Mask. That will grow the dark portion that we see, the masked area. And then Shift-R to try and get the mask only on the lower forearm. So uh, this tool doesn't work quite well. It will work better just to use shift control and draw a lasso like this. Hit the A pi menu and smooth mask, shift R a couple times. And once again, sculpt, set pivot to mask border, control I to invert, and we can rotate this. Now it looks like I either smoothed the mask a little too much. So let's undo that and hit the A key increase contrast. Let's try that. 
Maybe I actually drew the lasso in the wrong place. It needs to be closer to the hand. So shift control, try that one more time. Something like this. A key, smooth mask. Set the pivot to the mask border. Let's try that again. Whoops, I need to control I invert. And you'll notice that the control Z undo option actually removed the pivot position. So I'm gonna set that pivot back to the mask border. There we go, that's a little bit better. All right, so now we've got that hand sticking straighter into the sky, Alt-M. So we've got the, the basics of the pose set, and like I mentioned earlier from here, I will polish up the pose to get exactly what I want. Smooth out any um, inconsistencies, fix any volume issues, like if it got too skinny in certain areas. This is also a great opportunity to um, increase the creases, like in the elbow. But the ability to uh, get the majority of the pose in place is a, a huge benefit to the workflow. Before we had these tools, doing this kind of motion was incredibly difficult, if not impossible, without those transform and posing um, brushes. So we've got the left arm pretty much established. It could be polished a little bit more, but that's, that's fine for the demonstration. Let's do the same thing to the other arm. So we'll use shift control lasso select. And you'll notice we are also starting big. So we're moving the entire arm and then moving the lower arm, kind of a hierarchy. Though I guess if you wanted, you could move the lower arm first, but my recommendation is to start with the full arm and then move down to smaller portions. All right. So hit the A key, smooth the mask, shift R to repeat that command and um, control I to invert. Let's use the transform tool once again, because I don't think the pose brush will work. Yeah, it still wants to draw to the stomach. So transform brush, sculpt, set pivot to mask border. And we'll do the same kind of thing, rotate it. It's the same pose, but just reversed. It's pointed down. That looks pretty good. Uh, Alt M to clear the mask, shift control, draw a new, whoops, try that again. Draw a new lasso mask selection. Smooth it out. Set the pivot, invert the mask. There we go. That one was actually um, quite clean by comparison to the first one. And we will use some traditional brushes like grab. to smooth things out. And of course, if you want to focus on making movements to just the arm and not the body, like for example, if I wanted to, to make the thumb a little bit closer to the body, that's going to, well, that actually worked quite well. Um, but in this example, we're going to be moving the belly as well. So just shift control, drag a mask out, invert it, and now you'll only be moving this. Of course, smoothing that fall off would be helpful. So fairly quickly, we've got the arms posed and you would pose the legs the same way. But uh, for a demonstration, hopefully now you can see the practical implementation of masking and posing together.